These two USB devices, one a USB pass-through and the other a USB extension and cable, are both Wi-Fi keyboard keyloggers which can log every single keystroke internally and be accessed remotely via a smartphone. Compared to our previous generation of USB keyloggers, they are a lot more covert and easier to use, allowing you to leave the keylogger connected to the computer and in real time see all of the characters being typed. Both the USB extension cable and pass-through keyloggers are both the same internally. They're simply just a different form factor, so choose the one that's going to be most appropriate for your environment. And setup is also very easy and only takes one minute. First, plug the keyboard into the USB keylogger and then into the USB port on the computer as you normally would. Open the list of available Wi-Fi networks on your phone and then join the network beginning with AIR. Then open up the web browser and type 192.168.4.1 into the search bar and this should take you directly to the data log of the keylogger. The data log is the raw input of the keyboard without any filtering and that means that it will include all typing errors and backspaces as well. This means that if someone types something that they think they shouldn't but then they delete it, it will still appear here in the data log. To make the USB keylogger more secure so that only you can log into it, click settings in the bottom right and here you can replace the name of the access point and set a password. Call the access point something that appears just as another Wi-Fi network, set the security to WPA2 and set the password to something that you'll remember. You can also hide the access point completely, meaning that it can only be accessed by entering the SSID, but we wouldn't recommend this if you name the network something inconspicuous like we just did, as that will be secure enough. Now click save data logging settings and those settings will now be saved. By clicking advanced, you will now get access to more advanced settings. If the keylogger is currently positioned in a home, Home, office or another area that has access to a Wi-Fi connection, you can connect it to that Wi-Fi connection by entering in the network name and password here, which will then allow you to set the time for time and date stamping, but more importantly will allow you to enable email reporting so that you get an automated email sent directly to your email inbox. To do this, simply enter the recipient email address, the desired interval in minutes for reports to be sent, the SMTP server, your email address again, password, and lastly, the server port. For Gmail accounts, you'll also need to enable allow less secure apps in settings. Once that's entered in, hit save and you should get an email report very soon, including the plain text data log. This means that you don't even have to be within the same Wi-Fi network of the keylogger. You could be anywhere in the world where you have access to your email account and you'll still receive the data log. And again, the setup is the same for both the USB extension cable and the pass-through, and there's no way for the host computer to find out what these are. They are plain black without any branding or text, and they don't even show up as a USB device in Device Manager. So thanks for watching, you can find links to both of these products down below, and don't forget to subscribe for our future videos.